This is Code.org, and we are doing some tic-tac-toeing, obviously. Quack, quack, quack. All right, let's see here. Cat's game, tic-tac-toe. A tie game comes from the concept that a cat cannot catch its own tail, just like a player in tic-tac-toe cannot win a game that is already tied. Okay, we have now created almost all possibilities through conditional statements to make our tic-tac-toe Toe game, fully functional. However, there's one left, tie game. How to determine, how we can determine if every spot on the board is filled and there is nowhere left for the players to click on. As a final conditional, we need to test if there's any blanks. So create a final conditional statement that tests all available squares to check if they are not empty. There are variables A through I that contain, yep, we've seen that. And if it has not been picked, logical, operate or not, need some help with algorithms, that is helpful, but we, thankfully, aren't going to actually need it at the moment. So let's go ahead and head down. I'll do block mode maybe for a minute just so we can see. Five. The last else if checks the board if it's full and if so marks the game as a draw. All right. So right now, notice it's just blank. I'm actually going to switch out of block mode, I guess. Uh, I had an extra space here. Let's kill that off. And now what condition am I going to check for? Let's keep in mind what we have. We have these variables within this method. A, D, C, A, A, B, C, D, so on and so forth, right? And they represent over here in the design mode, if I click A, A square, B square, C square, or C space, none of those have any text in them right now, but they exist. And so when the check win function runs, the variable a is created and what it's equal to is well hey go get text from a space and if there's an x then variable a would equal x if there's an o it would equal o and if there's nothing it would just be blank quotes all right so we need to make sure that everything has some text in it and they tried to give us a bit of a hint here the logical not operator we can also pay attention to their algorithm we need to make sure that all of our variables a through i have are not empty and empty is just blank quotes. So I could start by using my squares, right? I could do a condition of not equal, but this is gonna be huge to write. So what I'm gonna prefer to do actually is I'm gonna check each one of these. Boom, boom. And do a does not equal blank. And then we need to use and, and, which is the two, uh, it's a shift and a, the seven key, and B does not equal blank, and, and C does not equal blank. Let me keep going and then I'll talk about when I'm done. Okay, so I wanna hit upon, let me actually zoom a bit, what this is doing one more time. So we get to this part of the statement, variable A, what is variable A equal to? Variable A is equal to whatever text this square contains. And I'm asking the computer, hi computer, does A right here not equal blank, which is another way of saying is not blank, right? And this is not equal because the explanation point means not and then equal. If I wanted to check for equality, this would just be two equal signs. But an explanation point and one equal sign means not equal. So A is not empty. And and B is not empty. Notice the same. C is not empty. Keep in mind what this does too. This and and means both of these have to be true for this entire statement in the parentheses to result in true. Now there's another and and, which means all three of these have to be true, and this, and this. So none of those are allowed to be blank. If none of those are blank, that means this whole big chunk of thing is true. And in an else if statement, if this statement is true, then it must run the code inside of this chunk to the bottom curly brace. So let's see if it works. So now I have to be careful because I can't let someone win. Shouldn't be too hard. Not the best. Yes, that one. And boom. Draw. Does it still work the other way, though? Let's find out. Quitta! Cool. So it's really important again and again and again to make sure you get these quotes, the and, and all of the keys typed um, correctly. The most common mistake is a missed key or something like that. So do be careful when punching all of this in. 
you want to see it as a big old code block. But, but, um, awesome. Onward.